Welcome to my cello studio. People often ask me what the difference is between a traditional acoustic cello and the electric cello, and why is it so special? The difference is similar to the difference between an acoustic guitar and an electric one. An electric cello has virtually no sound when played. However, when it's amplified, the vibrations are audible and become an electric signal that can be processed and manipulated electronically. Once the sound is a signal, it can be transformed in a number of ways, as an electric guitar might be with effects, but also through computer programming and complex processing. Here's an example of that in an improvisation called Nature. Additionally, the electric cello sound can be enhanced by controller pedals, which can be assigned different functions. Here, one pedal adjusts the amount of reverberation. The other generates two notes, a quarter tone and ab above and below, the original note being played. are used together, the sound becomes complex. These pedals can be used differently depending on the circumstance of the composer's intentions, as well as the performer's tendencies and desired instrumentation. The computer software, Max MSP, and other types of programs provide an opportunity for real-time sampling of the instrument in addition to these effects. This allows building complex layers, repetition, and looping of sounds. In this piece, On Connecticut Naturalism, as well as the first piece on the program, you can hear the results of this technique. This technology not only provides the performer the ability to shape the sound of the instrument, it enables triggering video and other pre-recorded sound files to play all directly from the cello's fingerboard and pedals. The performer's palette is expansive and allows as much creativity as they can imagine. In the following improvisation, you can witness the array of options employed in this performance of mine at the Kennedy Center concert in 2001.
Thanks for watching tonight and enjoy the rest of the program.